this is Matthew with Skitty Gaming, here reviewing the new game for the PlayStation Store, Tokyo Jungle. I found the survival gameplay quite interesting and fun so far, and the variety of animals you can choose can be quite interesting. There are many different animals to choose from, predators and prey. And each one has a special ability, has special limits of speed, hunger, stamina, and life. Your goal in survival is mainly to keep your animal from getting too hungry. If it gets too hungry, you start to lose life. Also, your animal can only live for 15 years, which adds up to uh, about 15 minutes. If your animal lives for this amount of time and dies, survival mode is over and you'll have to restart. Right now I'm eating a rabbit. You can also hold the zero button to take kills with you if you feel like you don't need it now but you could use it sometime else. The controls can be slightly difficult going through holding and pressing the buttons. You have to be very delicate when trying to press. What I'm doing right now is taking a clean kill on a golden retriever. Clean kills are when you use stealth. You can use stealth from tall grass or by getting into garbage bins and simply walking around. If you're caught moving in a garbage bin, the animal will run. You can jump around on rooftops, you can go into the sewers, and the city is pretty much open. The only area that isn't open to everyone is the human underground facility. This isn't opened until you complete the story mode. Characters are unlocked by completing challenges using other characters. Some of the challenge can, challenges can be difficult and quite stressful, but mainly they add to the game and make it a lot of fun. The main story is unlocked level by level as you unlock archives from survival mode. You will unlock a level for every three archives you collect. Marking territory is the key way to survive in the game. If you mark four territories in a specific neighborhood, mates will arrive. There are three kinds of mates. Desperate, average, like this one, and prime. You need to be specific levels to mate with each. Prime being the best female to mate with because it offers the most offsprings, and desperate being the worst because one, it gives you fleas, and two, you get barely any offspring. Mating may not be suitable for some children, as you can see there is a slight bit of humping. After you mate, you'll be put in control of a small pack of whatever animal you've chosen to play as. I'm a hyena right now. Your pack can be controlled by holding the triangle button to order attacks. If you are prey, you can hold the triangle button to order them to act as decoys. Your pack size, yet again, varies considering whom you made it with. Once you have offspring, they were given yet another 15 years to live, and this is mainly how you survive. Your, your score in survival will then be put on leaderboards where you can check how well you're doing in comparison to your friends. Also, there is a multiplayer mode, which I've found quite fun. It's two player, and you can play as two different species if you wish. Fighting is also another thing which predators can do, not so much the prey. I'm in a fight with a fat cat currently. Basically, the aim of the game is to survive, mate, eat, fight, and just to get around. Tokyo Jungle has impressed me greatly, and the only problems I have 
is that you cannot play as flying characters and the graphics aren't too great. Other than this, Tokyo Jungle is an amazing game and it is highly recommended. I give Tokyo Jungle a 9 out of 10. This is Skitty Gaming. Sign in for more reviews.